never heard anybody talk about the love of C-sections more than you. Like when I say about you having a baby, you're like, oh, just want to go to the hospital now. I want to go there right now. I've got a week to go on this one and I would go right now and wait. Just in the foyer? Yeah. With those and angles. then maybe a room would become available, imagine. <laughs> Because you did, for your first baby, you were, the thought of having a vaginal birth really freaked you out. It really did. And it surprised me how freaked out I was by the thought of it. And I had a really easy pregnancy. I have really easy pregnancies. That's so lovely. And every obstetrician appointment it almost feels like a waste of time because I just go in it's there so and, yeah, and there's nothing to talk about. But with the first one, every time I would see him, I would be like, and then what happens? Will I do a poo? Will it, will, what will it, you know? It's like, I would bore him senseless with the same crazy questions about natural childbirth. And it wasn't just curiosity. Yeah. It wasn't just, you know, me being inquisitive about the process. I was flipping out. Yeah, right. And I'm so relaxed generally yeah. about everything. But I was really nervous about it. And eventually he said, listen, you've got a problem. Yeah. You've got a problem here and it's not normal. And have you considered an elective Caesar? And I actually hadn't considered it. And, um, and I said, no. And he went through what, what would happen, the downsides, the upsides, all of it. And uh, I went home, spoke to Chips, who was also extraordinarily anxious about a natural childbirth. Yeah, right. And we decided together that because I was bonkers and he was crazy yeah. that, you know, we would, we would try it and it turned out great. Yeah. And so from then, and we really enjoyed it actually. We really enjoyed the whole process. Because he gets to be there with you. And yeah, we were both present. It was, yeah. We were both exactly as we are. There was, I wasn't afraid or crazy yeah. or um, out of control. Yeah. And... You know, and neither was he. He wasn't concerned or anything. It was just a really lovely experience. Yeah. Um, and that was our experience. Obviously, there are some horror stories both ways, but yeah. for, for us, it really... It's worked well. It's Cause really I'm been great. Because I'm the opposite to you in terms of... Because it's such a full-on operation to have a C-section. Like, it's a big, a big I know, deal. I've heard that. In my experience, it isn't. Yeah. You know, I was... I'm down at the coffee shop the next morning in my slippers getting a coffee. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. that hasn't been my experience, but I have heard that as well. I think it's, we've got to be, you know, because some people are like, well, we should have natural births if you can. But the thing mm. is, we have this available to us. And this, the main thing has to be that you're relaxed, the baby's relaxed, and yeah. that you do it the way you want to do it. I agree. I, I don't... I, you know, I'm sure it would have been great to, to do it naturally, but I was bonkers about it. Yeah. And in the end, it turned out great. When I gave birth to my son, the first thing I said is, next one's a Caesar. Everybody says that, but then you go vag again. I think I will go vag again. But yeah. at the same time, I was like, holy guacamole, man. That is intense. Yeah. And yeah, I also I bet it think is. that men can bond with the baby beautifully after a C-section. They can. They get the baby get, like one of my friends was like, I got to have that time with the baby and I really connected with the baby. It's true. It's true because the mother's sort of out of action for 24, yeah. 48 hours. And I think it's hard for men to connect with mm. babies sometimes. Yeah, I think so. 